everybody, welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. In the last episode, we finished off. Oh! Oh no! That's not good. It's actually not desirable. Uh, anyways, in the last episode, we finally finished off Victor's lab and Ogden's retreat, and we have access to all of those things. And now we are truly in the endgame, because in this episode we're going to be focusing on two things, and these are the last two things we need to do before we are officially done with Slime Rancher in terms of main collectibles and stuff. Uh, as I mentioned many episodes ago, we will visit Slime Rancher again in the future, Especially for the Twinkle Slime event. I'm definitely planning on covering that, but because I did not realize when it actually started, I just didn't have any recordings during that time. So it's something that we will see in the future. This time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This time, as I said, we are focusing on two things. The first thing is we need 750,000 new bucks in order to complete the 7Z Rewards Club program. That should be enough to get us all the way to the top rank of 28. The other thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be finishing off the rest of the collectibles that we have found in terms of the treasure pods. We have cleared out so a few more since our last foray into the collectathon, and in fact, we actually finished an area because Agnes Retreat is actually complete. It was one of the areas that we still hadn't done at the time of that, and we didn't have it unlocked as well, but. We found the one and only pod in that area. So, we don't have to do that anymore. I cannot say the same about some other areas, though. So, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna put. recharge both of these as well. Because I think what we're going to start off with is clearing out the Saber Slimes. The Saber Slimes today are 91 new bucks each. And that's probably as high as we're going to see anytime soon. So we're going to see if we can clear out all the Saber Plorts, which will give more room for other plorts. Mosaics are definitely going back up since our crashing of the economy, but they're still quite low. So I'd like to wait a little longer before selling all the mosaics. But we will see how far this goes. So probably cut to me finishing selling all these savers, however long that takes me. Is that it? That's actually all of the savers. Okay, that actually didn't take as terribly long as I feared it would. Let's see if there's any... No, those are... Grounds are actually pretty empty right now. Alright, so since we're here anyways, I figured... Let's take care of the Nimble Valley stuff first. I probably could have actually gotten these way sooner. I just didn't realize it was actually in the track rather than the actual valley itself oh oh wait oh it's not quite where i expected it if it is where i think it is it's a little sneaky all right so if it is where i think it is you do have to get up here but also need to up here. Oop. There's a little funky or something up here. Go 
over here. And there it is. There's a sneaky little pod. <laughs> Tall magnetic core array. Some say these rocks get their energy from the quicksilver slimes that race through the valley. Nice. Oh, wait, I think I see it actually already. I just gotta figure out how to get up there. Ha 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 ha, nice. I understand it correctly, it's up there. have some pretty aggressive platforming to be able to get up here. Oh, yep. Okay, so you have to go up here. Why would anybody go up here for that? What? How? Who would come up here? You know how much time that would waste? Ugh. Oh. Or name magnetic core array. Once she claims she knows how the magnetic core gets its unique properties, but refuses to tell. That, that sounds like something she would do. Let me see if I can spot a structure that kind of looks similar to what I'm seeing. Oh! Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. I was sitting on top of the rock that I'm supposed to. Oh. Nimble grass patch. Each blade of this grass is apparently superior to the other grass, according to Munchie Miles. Alright. If you say so. Oh, wait. Is it over there? I think it's up there. Should be able to. <laughs> yes, I was correct. It's up here. Nimble needle tree. The needles that compose these trees are so fine they feel like strands of silk. Huh, okay. Cool. I know wish I didn't have to come up here to find that out. Oh wait, I think I see it. My goodness, uh, that is the tangiest platform I have ever seen. How are you expected to- Okay, this works. I don't know if this is how they expect you to get up here. Small magnetic core array, a small sample of the strange magnetic rocks found in Nimble Valley. Okay. I appreciate the ingenuity associated with where they place these things, but my goodness. You really have to go out of your way to potentially find these things. And as someone who's been looking through 
pretty much hours upon hours of me going through the Quicksilver Lords minigame, I never found these at any point. This one would have been probably the more likely one to spot, but yeah. Never saw it. How am I only just now realizing that there's little satellites all uh, above the uh, where you are? I guess that makes sense for explaining how the Quicksilver Plurge are picked up, but I guess I've never looked up, really. Ah! Yep, there it is. My goodness. Sturdy Magnacor Ray. Strangely, Magnacor slowly loses magnetic properties when removed from the valley. Why am I not surprised? Alright. I think we could just flutter jump ourselves out of here. Because as far as I am seeing correctly, that's that's We actually... Oh! I didn't know this technically registry is unknown. But, if I understand correctly, that was all of the Nimble Valley Paw. I mean, this Valley game was pretty good, but it wasn't... My only thought is it's not very lucrative if you're trying to go for money. So it's not very beneficial after you're done to come back here and keep grinding there are way better ways to earn for or new bucks on my way to the next area of note i figure i might as well check where the values are so far Ooh, oh tangles over a hundred oh, you know what we should do it we should definitely do it i'm gonna cut this out because watching me do this is probably really boring, but this is super helpful. While I'm doing this, this is the music starting to transition. I do want to say, the music of this game is great. I think the, the people that created the music did a really good job. It's nice and atmospheric and actually really easy to get stuck in your head. The last few days, I've had various areas music just stuck in my head for like hours on end, even after I'm done recording. And frankly, I'm not upset about that. It's really good music. sets up the tone for various areas really well in my opinion. And there is one more thing that I haven't mentioned yet that I would like to get done as a sort of celebration for the last of the stuff being done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to succeed in doing that. I'm hoping I can. I think it would be a really nice end of the let's play hurrah so to speak i almost have all the prep work done for it i just need one more thing well actually i need two more things and then we can do that so in between this and like treasure pods, we will try to get the last few parts of my grand finale plan done, hopefully. Awesome! Alright, we're done with 
with that. Moving on. All right. So the next area of note that we still have things to collect is the wilds. We're done with Ogden's retreat. We're just not done with this. Thankfully, we do have a couple of them already done. It's just... I was hoping there wasn't very many paws hidden in this area because you're constantly worrying about being eaten. But... No! Apparently. Oh! Well, I'm thinking about it. So, I found out, I think if I'm understanding correctly, what the point of these med balls are. And where's the point of these? Yep, that's what I thought. They're called Kuka Crackers, and they're supposed to allow you to actually access the Kukadobas and the Mud Balls. I have spent pretty much the entire Let's Play wondering what on earth these things are. And it turns out... They're actually really useful to use. I will say one thing. This guide is, um. Um, excuse me. What? 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 Ha 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 ha! I was just puttering around blindly and I. Okay, we don't need to find this one later. Peach cloud tree. It's bright, delicious foliage contrasts the danger of the wilds. Actually, the peach cloud trees are quite pretty. So that's one less we need to go hunt down. I'll say the same about some of the other things we need to find. Most of the guide reference for this is just look for this very specific Kukadoba cracker and go look from there. Which the greatest, but I understand why there's no official maps for a good chunk of these areas. Oh, wait, I think I finally found it. Yeah, that looks right. Um, excuse me. I'm in the middle of something. No way. Uh, there's supposedly some around here. Oh, wow. I think I looked down there like a couple of times and just didn't notice it was there. Low rocks, card rocks, whose crevices house lunas and spores. Cool. I guess. So, I think I've probably walked past this particular pod uh, a few times. That one time all the far far range was covered in slime sea. Yeah, that. I'm surprised, yet not surprised, I didn't see it. So, for reference point, we need to find this Kukadoba uh, cracker again. And apparently, there's a waterfall we're supposed to be looking for? I have no idea. I'm in here? Oh my goodness, yes there is. Okay. Hmm. I can this I guess I can. Okay. Hard rocks, a collection of rock hard in an ancient time. Ooh. 
Wait. Oh. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Uh, cave rocks. A cluster of rocks found in the darkest corners of the wild. All right. So, uh, believe it or not, that's it. That's all we needed. We'll grab a couple of tofu for our earnings. And then on to the next area. This one also has um, quite a few pods that we don't have yet. So we're gonna have to. Wow, this is like the worst spot to put me at. As you probably noticed, I am not at all paying attention to any of the glitch slimes or anything like that. My goodness. Oh, I remember reading this. Originally, this special slime bait can be used for harmlessly attracting veggie eating slimes. It's this, I don't know if you remember, but it was the same spot where I, we had this, um, kind of trying to figure out how to climb up. What's probably gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to do this in multiple takes of entering the slimulation. Because there is no way I'm finding all of these in one shot. Meat slime bait! This special slime bait can be used to harmlessly attract meat eating slimes. I can definitely see a benefit to this if you're trying to attract certain ones. But, like, we're nearly done. It's a bit too late for this to be of any benefit to us. But hey, if you want to do your own let's play, now you know where these various beats are. I kind of noticing I haven't seen a single tar since we initially started. So I'm wondering if the more you catch actually triggers... Tars to spawn in? I don't know. Maybe the Tars are some weird attractant or whatever. Oh, it might be here. Actually, this looks promising. Aha! There it is. Should be the battery tower. A massive battery powered apparatus. This looks like part of something somewhere. That's, that's super informative. Yep. Why do I need to go up here? And apparently... It's... It's over there. Shoot, did I not give myself a number? Okay, we're fine. Oh! Here we go! Field kit! Perfect setup for projects out on the range with the rain and the bugs and maybe just stay inside. <laughs> it's a mood. Back here we go! Please don't burn me into the moss blanket, thank you. This is actually really ideal. Ah. Horrible scare slime. You used to keep slimes away from things on your ranch or just scared them because you're that person. Don't be that person. That's me. Okay, supposedly. It's up here? Yep. Okay. Thanks. 
Dash pad allows you to briefly spray with zero energy cost. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Oh. Hey! I walked across the spot probably a bunch of times and just didn't realize that was there. Nice. Digi shrub. An in progress approximation of a shrub, or maybe rock. It's still early. <laughs> I mean, true. It could be. Alrighty. Now. It's up there. Especially as it's up there. Oh, no, no, no. Leave me alone. Yep, there it is. Did you put all an in progress approximation of a window to a parallel dimension? Just like the one in your house. I mean, from a bare bones description, I guess that's not wrong. Eh. But I think it's really close nearby. I just don't quite know where at the second. I think it's there? I need to not lose energy. Tree, and this is the last one. Good. That means we don't need to come back here unless we want to, of course. Nice. That took a little longer than I was expecting, but. I don't think there should have been too much of an issue. Apparently, there is... There apparently is a single lone blue treasure pod for what is deemed as the Ancient Ruins Transition. So supposedly, there is a pod somewhere in here, and I just did not find it when I was fumbling around trying to find the tabby thing. Don't know how I go, how I did that, but I did. Actually, expected to go up there and find this. Of course! <laughs> Party fashion pod! This is how you get the funky glasses for your slimes that the party gordos wear. You don't get the party hats, I want to say, but. I mean, the glasses are still kind of cute. Oh. <laughs> I see. Sneaky. I appreciate that. Oh, it's material. Okay. I'll take it. I've probably done all the like slime things I'm probably ever gonna do. Really, by this point. But Nice to have. Oh, that ooh, that's sneaky. It's not as sneaky as some of the other ones, but that's pretty that's pretty clever.
I don't... I definitely don't have anything for you. But you sure are cute. Where was I? That way. Oh, yeah! I saw this pot a while back when we were... A couple of episodes back when we were doing the uh, treasure, or not the treasure pot, the uh, party gordo, glow sticks. Though these luminescent devices are similar to other elements of the runes, they're not nearly as old. Huh. All right, if I'm understanding correctly, our next pod is up there. Let me guess. Hi, you're distracting me, guys. Need to phase the phase lemon tree in to use it as a stand. Ah, thankfully, no, not but it looks good. Crystal sconce. The light from these sconces appears to be endless, perhaps illuminating the past as much as the present. Ah, I think that is correct. Oop, 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 go in. Aha, that is... Ooh. I know I keep saying that that is incredibly clever and sneaky, but it is. It's all the strange device in the ancient rooms. Wandering echoes over to... Ooh, okay, that's cool. Now this one I am... Not entirely sure how they expect you to get up here. But supposedly, there's a pod above our head, literally. This is fine. <laughs> oh wait, I might be able to go up there. Um, come on. No, okay, I somewhere else. I should be able to, and I can already see it. So, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So, I am almost out of room. I'm gonna grab the Indigonium. Because we've actually been able to get the strange diamonds through other means. There's supposedly a hidden platform somewhere around here. Ah! 
Ah, there it is. Okay. actually leave those those where they are because we can fairly easily get more royal jelly and wild honey through other means so it's not that important. and that's actually the last of the regular pods for the ancient ruins the glass desert that's all we need is whatever we have left in the glass desert Which is convenient because one of the things we need is in the glass desert. I just don't know how successful I'm going to be in finding it. And we are going to wait the solar storm out right here. Yep. So actually, I decided real quick we're gonna drop off this stuff because I believe we are supposed to get more materials potentially from the pods in the uh, glass desert. So I just checked the market prices and believe it or not, they are pretty ripe for the picky when it comes to selling mosaics. They are at 111 new bucks per mosaic. So, I think it's about time we did something with our massive collection of them. Did, did, did you have to do that? I don't even know where the other one went. It plonked off your body into the ether or something. Alright, we wiped out pretty much everything over by the dogs, so now we're going to start grabbing stuff from up here in the Nimble Valley. I'm specifically aiming for about 700. And then we will stop there and resume going and doing the last major area, I believe. There. Perfect. Well, the reason why I'm giving myself a buffer about 50,000 is I still have drones collecting various ports from other areas, so I wanted to keep that in consideration. So, hopefully, this will be fine. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more once over with refilling all the drones water so hopefully they will not run out while I'm trying to do this last thing or last area rather all right last is this one interesting experience because according to the guide first off it says the jetpack is necessary to find a majority of these pods and secondly there's 15 purple pods alone and seven blue ones and where are we at so far with the amount of pods that we have for this area just four this is gonna be great. Oh wait, you don't eat. <sighs> Dumb. Oh! Here's one of the pods. The Druid Desert Block. Okay, well I guess we don't need to find that. Also, fun fact, there is no green anywhere for the glass desert. So it's just blue and purple. It's just a lot of purple.
Here we go. This isn't the one I was looking for. Fairy teleporter said to teleporters. Blah 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 blah. We know this. That is not the pot I was looking for. Whoops. I think I might have misinterpreted something. Yes, yes, it did. Whoops. I I thought I looked at the map, but didn't look at the suggested screenshot to help you find the stuff. And it turns out, uh, no, 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 please, 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 no. uh, I think I'm dead. Yep. At least I got the pod. Hey. At least I think that counts. Please tell me that counts. I think it counts. Yes, okay, good. Oh, I could actually make this, but I'm not getting it right now. What you're supposed to do for the pod I was looking for. Is go inside. Is, uh, oh, there it is. This was what I was actually looking for. The butterscotch slime lamp. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I ought to be impressed with the fact that that's the first time I've actually died trying to get a treasure pod. Ooh, I just spotted a purple pod. That's not what I was going for, but ooh, why is it there? We'll just land here. Ugh. Oh, what? How do I keep finding the, not the one that I want? <laughs> Very warp depot to go with the teleporter, I'm assuming. I should probably get that. I am definitely gonna forget where exactly this is. Powering glass sculpture, a beautiful glass structure from the glass sister that resembles the monolith. Nice. Wait, what? I went right past it earlier. Ah! Ruined column. Ruined desert column. So far, beam to a long lost temple, perhaps even before the disaster existed. I am so like, ah! All right, well, while I'm waiting for the solar flares to end, I'm going to plan out my next tactic to figure out where I need to go next. Oh gosh, where is it? I hear it.
also don't get it further away. Somewhere around right here, I can hear it very well. Ah! I need that! Oh, great. I'm sorry, what? What? I'm, I'm sorry? Old slimes can be in crates? Spot to put that though. <laughs> Tell me it's not another leap of faith situation. Is I real? Oh. Actually, that wasn't as bad. Very slime lamp. Oh boy. Okay. Actually, you know what? I've been thinking about it for a minute. I think I will actually go back to the ranch just because we really, really cannot afford to lose Kill the Ginger. Because otherwise, that's gonna take every. It's gonna sidetrack a lot. Entire plant. So we will just. Go up here and use the teleport to come back home, and then we will drop off our things and then. Uh, and we will go back to the hunting. Back to the foray we go. 